and welcome to another lesson. In this lesson we're going to talk about three note per string scales and some sequences. In my previous lesson we learned to take groups of strings and uh, use those as a basis for making sequences. So we had a two string group of notes, six notes, and we would just start that exact same pattern on the next string, rinse and repeat. So, take three strings worth of notes, do the same thing, and then even string skipping, just going over every other string, playing those three notes on each of those strings. And today we're going to take a different direction. We're going to look at just the amount of those three notes on each string and come up with different patterns that we can move around and make sequences out of. So what I mean by that is in our first uh, pattern here in the key of A major, fifth fret, I have an A, a B, and a C sharp. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this pattern. I've got only a limited amount of patterns I can make with these three notes. I've got my first note. I'm going to skip B and go to C sharp and then play B. So in my mind I'm thinking low note, high note, middle note. And then what we can do is transfer that to the next string. Next string, next string, next string. I'm going to alternate pick that too. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to have a high note, low note, middle note. So that's a C sharp, an A, and a B. Same pattern, next string, next string. And you want to really make sure that you're going to end up using the fingerings in your left hand that you would normally would if you were just playing the scale up and down. So that may seem to be like all the different patterns, but it really isn't. You can come up with all sorts of small little patterns. What we're going to do is start with the high note, and we're going to make a four note pattern out of it. C sharp, B, A, and back to B. So you've got... done the opposite, starting low and then ending up in the middle with the four note pattern. So you go up A, B, C sharp, back to B. And you can use these to connect to the next position up, uh, take it in groups of maybe just two strings make your way up the neck, down the neck, but try exploring this. It's a kind of an easy way to get something a little bit more than run-of-the-mill linear up and down lines and kind of give a, a little bit of a string or note skipping uh, aspect to your play. So anyways, wrap your hands around that. Try to play that in all seven positions and I'll see you next time. Thanks.